Hello YouTube and welcome to installing Ruby on Rails on your Windows PC. So this process is going to take a little bit so let's just get into this. Go ahead and press the Windows key and type in development mode, developer mode and make sure that this is uh, enabled. It will go up and install some Windows packages for you that you need then type in features and bring up the Windows features. Now at the bottom you'll see Windows subsystem for Linux. Go ahead and check this. Now after you check this it's also going to install some packages for Windows that you're going to need and it will restart your computer. Now on my computer I had to restart it two times because after the initial startup of installing this uh, it was a little laggy. So if you are experiencing the same thing go ahead and reboot it the second time and everything should be okay. So after that is installed, go ahead and press the Windows key and open up Bash. Now if you noticed, Bash has this default looking icon over here and it says to run command. So we are going to need to install this uh, through Windows by just typing Y and it will download it from the Windows Store for you. Now this is going to take a little bit depending on your download speeds and your computer. So I'm going to cut the video and I'm going to come back. So after it extracts the file system and installs the files, you'll be greeted with this screen where you're going to create a new Unix user. So go ahead and create a username and password. Let's create the username Mac and a password. So everything was in, uh, installed successfully. Now you can actually exit out of this and go ahead and type in bash again. Now we'll have a different icon, it's actually the Ubuntu icon, and it'll say bash on Ubuntu for Windows. The screen will look exactly the same as it did before, but if you have the icon then it was installed properly. So now we're going to start getting into the commands. So first we're going to update, so you type in sudo apt get update and enter your password. So that won't take too long. So then we're going to have to start installing some of the components that we're going to use in the installation of Ruby. So go ahead and type in um, sudo apt-get install. So we're going to be installing packages. We're going to install git core. We're going to I mean, you can just type. You can press up in the directional pad to bring up the last command. We're going to type in. We're, we're going to install curl. Press yes or Y for yes. Then install uh, Windows or build essential. Jeez. Type in Y for yes again. So there's actually an easier way to install these uh, instead of doing them individually. So we're going to continue with the sudo apt-get install, but this time you can just list them. So we're going to install git core, lib ssl dev, lib read line hyphen dev, lib yaml hyphen dev, lib sql lite 3 hyphen dev, SQLite or SQLite, yeah, three. However you say that. Lib XML2 hyphen dev, lib XS LT1 hyphen dev, lib curl four hyphen open SSL hyphen dev. Python hyphen software hyphen properties and lib ffi hyphen dev. Okay, so lib curl. Ah, there's no hyphen. 
All of these commands will also be found in the description. So you can go ahead and copy and paste these commands right into your bash and it will install everything just in order. Now we're going to need to start cloning in some repositories from git. So make sure that you're in the home uh, directory by typing cd and we're going to be cloning this rbenv. Uh, we're going to be cloning this one and the Ruby build. So the links will be in the description but uh, you can go there and visit them. So we're going to type in git clone https and then github.com slash rbnv as we were at before and their other package which is called rbenv.get um, and we're going to actually create a folder not to put them in so tilde forward slash period rbenv next we're going to need to uh, echo some export paths into um, the bash rc so go ahead and either copy these commands or type them with me uh, echo uh, apostrophe export capital path equals quotation marks uh, dollar sign home in all caps forward slash dot r b e n v which I just realized is ruby environment actually because rb is ruby and then uh, environment env so forward slash bin colon um, money path and then end this quotation marks and the uh, apostrophe and then we're going to put those into or put that export into the tilde forward slash dot bash rc so that's done and then we're go essentially going to do another one uh, we're going to type in echo apostrophe eval quotation marks money uh, the no, they're not braces the parentheses rbnv benv init init minus another closing jeez I don't know why I can't remember that name the I mean you can see it and then end quotation mark and apostrophe and then put that also into the uh, bash rc so tilde forward slash period bash rc that's done and then you're going to execute money shell uh, in all caps all right so as you can see right here i actually made a mistake it's uh supposed to eval instead of evval so if this happens to you uh, type in vi for the vim uh, tilde forward slash dot bash rc now you're going to press the forward slash key and you can see it down in the corner and you're going to type in the mistake so mine was evv and it will search it for you now to insert into this press i to insert and then you can go ahead and uh, fix your mistake press the escape key and then colon to enter into command mode and press WQ for write and then quit the document and that will uh, fix the error in um, the bash RC so then type the execute money shell that's done Next, we're going to clone in that uh, Ruby build.get. So, exactly how we did it before git clone https colon forward slash github.com forward slash r the uh, Ruby environment forward slash Ruby Ruby build dot get. And then we're going to put it in tilde forward slash period. Um, the same folder we did, except we're going to put it in plugins uh, forward slash ruby uh, hyphen build. Uh, so go ahead and install that or download that. 
Then we're going to execute another echo command. We're going to type in echo uh, apostrophe export path in all caps equals quotation marks money home forward slash dot rbnv slash plugins slash ruby hyphen build forward slash bin colon money path uh, end quotation marks and apostrophe jeez oh, and then put that into the bash dot rnc so tilde forward slash period bash rc so then execute money shell once again So everything went okay, it didn't give us any errors. Now we're going to install the RBENV, the Ruby environment, which is going to take a pretty long time. So go ahead and type in R RBENV install, and we're going to be installing version. Okay, so I was coming up with an error, and I did not clone the Ruby build uh, into the right path. So make sure that you are installing it into this path. Uh, all the commands will be down in the description as well. It would be just a lot easier to copy and paste them into the bash so that you don't mistype anything. So go ahead, let the Ruby environment install and, well, Ruby. So this installation ended up taking uh, quite some time. It is now the afternoon, about 12 hours. Uh, now I ended up leaving and coming back because it does take a long time. But uh, the next command we're going to be running is rbenv. Uh, we're going to be uh, installing the global aspect of it, and we're going to be installing the 2.4.2 uh, version. A very quick installation, and then just to make sure that Ruby is installed, you're going to want to type ruby dash or hyphen v. Now, if you're getting something like this, everything is good to go as far as Ruby goes. So then we're going to be installing the Rails aspect of this. And we're going to start off with a curl uh, command, curl hyphen s capital L. And it's going to be https colon forward slash forward slash deb dot node source dot com slash setup underscore 8.8.x. And um, also add in uh, one of those lines, I'm not sure what they are but it's usually above the enter key it's with the forward or backslash so then also uh, type sudo hyphen e and bash hyphen so then enter your password after that's finished you'll notice it says the uh, installed node.js so that's what we're going to do so sudo apt get install um, actually we're going to do a hyphen y for this node.js okay so if you run into an error such as unable to fetch some archives uh, maybe run apt get update or try with uh, hyphen hyphen fix hyphen missing the hyphen hyphen fix hyphen missing uh, actually fixed an issue for me um, when I was getting that error I'm not sure what initially caused it but it was happening so after uh, Node.js is installed. You can actually check by typing node-v. So we're running 8.9. And then we're going to install Rails by typing gem. Install Rails. And we'll be installing the version of 5.1.4. So hyphen v 5.1.4. Now the Rails is done installing. We're going to type the command rbenv um, rehash that is doesn't take very long and then we're going to check our rails version so rails hyphen v and we're running 5.1.4 exactly what we were supposed to install now for this next step you can go one of two ways or three ways whenever you install ruby on rails it comes with sql lite 3 as the database now it has a lot of quirks to it and not a lot of people like it 
So you have pr essentially two choices. You have Postgres or MySQL. Um, I personally enjoy Postgres, but they both are very similar. So I will just be installing MySQL for this. So uh, we're going to install it by type. We're going to install MySQL by sudo apt get install mysql hyphen server and then we're also going to install mysql client and lib mysql client dev hyphen dev oh and spelled spelled install wrong and spelled server and dev wrong Okay. During the installation process, you'll be greeted with this screen. So it is asking you to create a password for your uh, root user. Now this is going to be important and make sure that you pick a password that you're going to be able to remember in the next couple minutes. So congratulations making it this far. So we have in successfully installed Ruby Rails with MySQL as the database. Now, the next step, just to make sure everything is working together as they should, we're going to create just a Ruby app, to, just to make sure that it's working. So we're going to change directories to forward slash mnt for mount and then c for the c drive. And we're going to make a directory uh, hyphen p, and we're going to call this rails or Ruby or whatever you want to call the directory. So change directories into this and create a new app. And you're going to do this by typing Rails new, uh, what is call this, hello world. Then hyphen D for our database and we're going to type MySQL. After your project is created, you're going to uh, change directories uh, into whatever you called it, so hello world. There we go. And now we're going to have to edit the config config forward slash database YAML. Now in here, you'll notice that there is nothing set for password. Now this is going to be the password that you just set uh, prior to this for the MySQL. Now I picked download because this is going to be a local database so no one's really going to be getting into this and you're going to type colon or you can use vim as I did and you're going to type in colon wq for write and quit next you're going to type in rake db create so you can create the data so you can create the database for this so the database has been created and to start the server you're going to type rails server now I'll let this load up. Uh, you'll notice they will say press Control C to stop. There we go. And we're listening on 0000, zero, zero, zero colon 3000 as the port. Actually, the web server will not be running on 0000. zero, zero, zero. We'll be running a local host port 3000. So if you get this message, everything is good to go. Rails version is right here. The Ruby version is right here and you are completely set up for Ruby on Rails. Now just as a side note, inside your file explorer, you'll notice that your C drive right here has a folder in it called Rails. Because we created this folder Rails whenever we mounted the C drive. So you can go in here and then you can use Atom or VS Code or Sublime or even Emacs, whatever you use as your code text editor and this will be the folder that you're going to edit. So this wraps up Ruby on Rails for Windows. Thank you for watching, especially for making it this far. Hope you have a good time with this. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Thanks for watching.